I am Christian Arnieta and this is my demo. Learning English, speaking English, isn't just about learning new words or being able to learn a new phrase in English. It isn't just about that. Or learning English isn't also just about being able to translate a word from your native language to a word in English. Yeah, I believe English is more than just that. English is about being able to convey a message, to communicate with others using English as a medium. Yeah, so to do that, it is important to be able to communicate. And how do we communicate? What do you think? How do you communicate with your family? How do you communicate with your friends? Mm -hmm. Yes, that's right. We talk to each other. What else? What are other modes of communication? Yes? Yes, Clara, we write to others. But what's the use of speaking or what's the use of talking to each other? What's the use of writing if the one you're sending the message to doesn't know how to read? Or the one you're talking to doesn't know how to listen or to hear the words you're saying? Yeah. So our topic for today is about how do you listen? When somebody speaks, how do we listen to the speaker to be able to hear her message but I believe I believe we already know that because you're gonna listen to me right now right isn't that right okay that's good so before we talk about everything about listening I want us all to play a game okay so I'll group you into two so this will be group this will be group one, and this will be group two. Okay, so I'll let you choose one representative each. Mm -hmm. You're done. Good. So you're ready. So the mechanics of this game is that the representative is going to draw what the other members are trying to picture out. So, the representatives will face the back, and the rest of the members shall face me. So, for group one, I'll post their picture. For group two, I'll post another picture. And I'll let the representatives guess. Okay, we'll have three rounds, and we'll have different representatives. Would that be fine with you? Okay, do you have any more questions? If there's none, let's start with our game. I'll give the representatives a minute to draw. Okay. Okay, get your positions ready. So the pictures are now ready. You can all go. Okay, good. We're done with the first set. Now for the next round, let's choose another representative. Okay, the representatives shall face the back, and the rest of the team face here, and I'll get the picture, the second set of pictures ready. Okay, timer starts now. Okay. Go. Okay, we're done with round two. Next set of representatives. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're done. Thank you so much for your cooperation. So what have you observed with our activity? Yes, Jude. It was so hard. It was hard. It was challenging. Why? Yes. Different directions were coming from all over. 
okay, somebody's telling to draw. Somebody's telling you to draw a hat and the other's telling you to draw the sun. Okay. But more or less, did you get the picture? Yeah, you did. What else? It was challenging because there's a lot of noise all over the place. There's, there are instructions for group one and then there are instructions for group two. It's hard, right? Because you have, yeah, you'll really have to use your imagination to be able to draw. And then what? Okay. Yes, that's right. There are actually a lot of hindrances in in actually communicating. You want your receiver or you want the person you're talking to to be able to get the message. However, the environment also limits you to do that. And also, the receiver or the the listener also has limitations so to be able to effectively communicate with one another we have to be aware of the barriers and being aware of the barriers we have to minimize them or if we can eliminate them okay so what how do we effectively communicate first of all we need to know if the environment is conducive for talking, for communicating. If not, we'll have to choose a different environment. For example, if I'm speaking here in front of you, if I believe I'm in a place that is so noisy or there's construction going on, I should present or I should approach the principal and raise the issue that there's a barrier in communication. There wouldn't be an effective classroom discussion if that's the case. So we have to be aware of our environment. We also have to be aware of what? Who we are talking to. Yes. We have to be aware of whether or not is she a five-year-old child? Is he already an adult? And we have to adjust the way we talk to who we are communicating with. That's what you did also earlier, right? Okay, so now let's proceed to our next activity, our listening activity. I want you all to, yes, get your computers ready.